problem number 4 on maxwell's equation here the medium is a lossy dielectric nothing but an insulator with minimum losses sigma is equal to 5 simons per meter c sigma conductivity 5 is a small number usually conductors will be having a conductivity of very good conductors will be having conductivity of something like 10 power 7 10 power 8 10 power 9 like that so not is one electric field intensity is given e we have to find jc and jd conduction current density and displacement current density from e and also we have to find the frequency at which both jc and jd have equal magnitudes so let us take up the problem so first let us find the conduction current density jc jc is given by sigma e you know that this is ohm's law in point form so from this equation we can easily find jc that is sigma is just 5 into e the electric field intensity that is 100 sin of 10 power 10 t So in this case the direction of electric field intensity is not given so we can find only the magnitude jc so this is going to be 500 sin of 10 power 10 t ampere per meter square this is the conduction current density second one we should take displacement current density that is jd that is given by do t by do t that is epsilon partial differentiation of e with respect to t as usual e is given only magnitude is given so the magnitude of jd is epsilon into differentiation of e that is equal to epsilon into differentiation with respect to time of e that is 100 sin 10 power 10 t i think a differentiation that is equal to epsilon into 100 constant differentiation of sin is cos 10 power 10 t into 10 power 10 epsilon is nothing but epsilon not into epsilon r that is 8.854 into 10 power minus 12 that is epsilon not into epsilon r is 1 is given in the problem the relative permittivity into 100 into 10 raised to 10 cos of 10 power 10 t so in this case 10 power 10 100 means 10 square so put together 10 power 12 10 power minus 12 all these three get cancelled 
So what is left finally is 8.854 plus of 10 power 10 T ampere per meter square. This is the displacement current density. So with this, we can also understand one more concept here. That is, if you observe JC is sinusoidal sine and JD is cosinusoidal. So from this, we can also understand that conduction and displacement currents are having a phase difference of 90 degree. Phase difference of 90 degree. This information is useful in understanding some other concepts. Next, we have to find the frequency at which both have equal magnitudes. The frequency at which both have equal magnitudes. That means JC is equal to JD, equal magnitudes. To find this, we have a relation that is magnitude of JC by JD is equal to sigma by omega epsilon. This equation is already derived and known. So when JC by JD is needed, we can use this idea. JC is equal to JD means JC by JD is one. Therefore, sigma by omega epsilon is equal to one. So omega is equal to sigma by epsilon. So we need to find frequency. So omega is nothing but two pi f sigma by epsilon means epsilon naught into epsilon r. So f is equal to one by two pi sigma by epsilon naught into epsilon r. Shall put these values one by two pi. Sigma is given as just five. Epsilon naught is eight point eight five four into ten power minus twelve. Epsilon r is given as one. So the frequency value finally comes out as eight point nine eight into 10 power 10, which can be expressed as 89.8 gigahertz. Giga means 10 power nine. So that completes the problem. Thank you.